He used to play fiddle with uh, Terry Clark, the country musician. Yeah, I remember Terry. See, I, was, I was in Nashville. You know, both my kids were born in Nashville. You know, that's what Caroline told me once. I worked at Opryland. No kidding. Yeah. I did impersonations. You get to miss in the river? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boxcar Willie. That, that, that fed me for six years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I lived I lived at a place called Hermitage. Yeah. And it was right across from, um, it was right between Percy Priest Lake and uh, Old Hickory. So I had my choice to go either way. It's just tough life. I mean, it's, it, I had a wonderful, the people I met was still friends today, you know. They're well, wonderful um, people. Uh, tell us a little bit about <laughs> The Rock. What do you think about The Rock? Well, they pulled a rock out of the Ohio River, as we're all aware of, and uh, I guess things got a little bit dicey after that. And uh, people said that they wanted the rock back. They wanted uh, to keep the rock where it was. Other people said, well, let's take it to the state park area and let individuals see what we come up with. Uh, some people said that it's original ending and carvings. Some folks, uh, I think there's even a pictures from back in the uh, Portsmouth times in the early uh, 1900s where people are out standing on the rock itself. Um, they recreated here. They brought their boats out, uh, you know, and they come out and they, you know, you got to remember there was no public pools or things like that. This was the public pool. It was called the Ohio River. And if you go up on top of these ridge lines and things and look around from here, I've been back up in this area here and I've saw uh, carvings, uh, you know, the just for example, John Doe was here, Jane Doe was here from 1856, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there's some uh, carvings in those sandstone rocks up there that, uh, that um, are, are fairly old. And, uh, you know, I think that if you go up there and look, you could oversee the town of Portsmouth, Ohio. Uh, we all claim that the rock belongs to Kentucky. Of course, the Ohio River, from its my understanding, is actually belongs to the state of Kentucky all the way over until its banks. So if you pulled something out of it, I guess it, it belongs to the state of Kentucky and the archeological people came in uh, from the University of Kentucky and they called me I, years ago, I'm a retired uh, state worker, but uh, they wanted to know if we actually might want it up at a local state park called Greenbow. And uh, I said, well, that's gonna be a bigger decision <laughs> than I can possibly give you. But that one time, um, that's where, uh, you know, the uh, conversation was headed and I'll tell you this right now, wherever, wherever it goes or wherever it lands, I hope it's someplace different than where it is right now. And um, stored away with a blue tarp over it in a county garage is just simply not my idea of anything. Um, you know, when we went up there back in June and interviewed Bobby Carpenter, yeah, he told us that uh, he, in his last term, as Judge executive, which I don't know how long the terms are, but uh, he'd like to find it a good home, and it was quite sad seeing it in there covered by a tarp. We had to run about a 200 foot extension cord to get a light in there so we could yep. photograph it. Yeah, but it's quite sad to see it there after all that battle. It is for me. I mean, you know, either stick it back here in the water or give it a place that. Uh, that individuals can come and see what all of the hullabaloo was about. Anyway, and uh, you know, just like I said, I, and I think, you know, I, of course I'm, I'm not an archeologist or something, but I'm just thinking that if something's been actually underwater for all of that time, you put it out and then has different uh, atmospheric pressures and things like that, it'll probably start uh, deteriorating. I would think, I don't, it'll be here long after I'm gone for sure, but uh, you know, it's just sad that it's in a bin. I mean, let, let's let's put it on display or something, that, you know, if nothing else. Where would be a good place to put it, Tom, in your opinion? Well, in the, um, if you look at it, the people, the, the past ancestry of Portsmouth, Ohio, these people over here and these Eastern Kentuckians, folks of the South Portsmouth area, were probably the one of the first to see it. Um, if you read, um, you know, Things like uh, uh, Robert Eckerd's book, uh, The Frontiersman, you know, Simon Kenton comes down through here and uh, Tigert, which is Tigert's Creek, is just right above us here, about a mile on the right, it goes up in Kentucky. You know, some of these first settlers from this area saw it, so I think that it should stay somewhere around the Portsmouth area. Now, we have still have River Days, which is a great festival here in Portsmouth, Ohio. Um, again, but it's going to cause a fight because if it belongs to Kentucky, uh, there's other... Um, 
other uh, comments have been made that we put it in the middle of the U.S. Grant Bridge so everyone driving across the uh, bridge can see the rock. I'm not sure if that's a good idea that might cause an accident or something, but uh, maybe before or after the bridge or maybe in an area such as like a tourism uh, stop where you have to, you know, like a rest area or something close by the town of South Shore, I think would be a perfect area just so the public could see it. Yeah, and... Uh... You know, he even got uh, the Kentucky Attorney General's involved. Jack Conway, we interviewed him. And Did you? He, uh, no joke, some of the Ohio politicians, a fellow by the name of Todd Book, who was a state rep uh -huh. in Portsmouth, he uh, actually, no joke, I'm not making this up, wanted to have a paper, rock, scissors battle with Jack Conway. <laughs> Where the winner of the best of three series, uh, the state would keep the rock for a year. No joke. Oh, well, again, everybody's got an opinion. And uh, if the politicians want to hash that out, do paper, rock, scissors, and by all means, uh, give it to one side. You know, you know, we do a lot of things like that in football and basketball games, you know, the bail and the barrel and stuff like that, and let this side have it for a while and let that side have it. but. We need to start a conversation, and that's what bothers me more than anything. I think it's been out for several years now, and we've not started that conversation. What are we going to do with it? Yeah, that's true, Tom. Well, let me get some beef.